What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video I'm going to uh, be getting an achievement, showing you all how to get an achievement called Honor Our Ancestors. It says present offerings to the following ancestors, spirits, and own around planes while under the effects of Essence of Awakening. This is a pretty easy achievement. Uh, essentially what you have to do is you have to get a buff, that's like a one hour buff called Essence of Awakening. I'll show you where to get it. It's like somewhere up around this area. Northeast on around plains. And then you have to give random items to all uh, 10 of these individuals. And we're gonna go ahead and just get the random items right now. I have my auction house mount out. Uh, none of them are particularly expensive. So let's uh, let's go through them right now. So one of the items you need is, oh God, ignore my thrice spiced mammoth rib. Only need one of these. Goes for one gold on my server. You need a boots enchant planes runner. Well, planes runner of breeze. You only want to get rank one. Do not spend four and a half K for the rank three. So only get the rank one. Horn. Oh, mead. Just one of those. Four gold. Exceptional pelt. There's a good chance you probably have this in your bag. Just check it. Uh, just drops from random mobs. 44 silver. Don't really care. Gonna buy it feral hide drums so this one of the more expensive ones my server goes for 400 gold uh leather workers make them so if you're a leather worker go ahead and make it uh now the next item good chance you have it this probably is going to be the most expensive item it is an awakened air uh 400 gold roughly the same as the last one uh i'm not gonna buy one because i got tons of rousing airs 10 rousing airs makes one awakened air brazed Buffalon brisket. I spelled something wrong. Oh, Bruffalon. Four and a half gold. You need two of these. You do need two of them. Elemental moats. Good chance you, you might have these because they drop from elementals around the owner on planes. And um, oops, elementals is not a good word to look up. Elemental moat. If you don't have it, 40, 40 silver. Not a big deal. This next item is a fire blessed great sword. Now, if you look up Fire Bless, there's a lot of Fire Bless blades. You have to buy a great sword. So let's actually, just so we don't get confused, I'm going to type in great. And you can buy the least expensive one, which for me is 87 gold. I have 88 gold. And then the last one I'm not going to purchase because I am an herbalist. You need five rank one Rith Barks. If you're an herbalist, you probably got some of these. Um, otherwise, you do need five of them. So if you're not an herbalist, that is probably going to be the more, most expensive one, I guess. Only buy the rank one. Five full. So the first thing that you have to come up to is the Essence of Awakening. Of course, top right of Owner on Planes. It's at 85.72, 20.8. And I will have a, a macro in here are all the... Stop attacking. What are you, a rhino? I will have a, um, a macro in the description of all these points. I was able to fit them all in one macro. If you do have a add-on like long macros, you can obviously put them all in one macro easier. But anyways, first one I come up to, Essence of Awakening, because you need the buff. Now this thing's always here. It does give you a one hour buff. If you die or you lose it or something, just come back. Spot number one, we are uh, right next to where we just were at 84.8 24.50 at the timber step outpost and the first person you're going to talk to is uh this ghost that's walking around named mooker swift shop swift shot are you good you can't they're all ghosts because you can't really see them if you don't have um essence of awakening so this is where you give the enchant boots there we go that's the first one next up just a little south, we're at uh, 84.80, 48.60. We're gonna go up on this plateau thing, area, whatever, up here. Just right up here. And you're gonna sp speak to uh, Shikari Khan. Let's see if I can do this without pulling this dude, probably not. Are you good? Oh, I guess I can. Uh, that's where you give the feral hide drums to. Next area we're at is right here, 75.90, 42.05, just this area here. There's a lot of hostile dudes right here, so let's see, let's see if we can find the person that we talk to. 
Oh, it's right here. Okay, that's it. That wasn't very hard. Just fly up on this uh, little little rock statue, whatever, and you get the horn o mead. Next spot, right here, 72.70, 56.90, uh, Taghusuk Village, however you say that. And we're going to speak to uh, this dude right here, Farasek Khan. So let's make sure nothing is attacking us, like everything is. He'll kind of be walking around, like I saw him walking up from that path right over there. I'm going to give him the exceptional pelt. Next one, right here, south east of Owner on Plains, 7505, 7150. And I just saw right over here, it's a uh, Hemia the Blessed. I'm gonna talk to them Are you good? and give them the awakened air. Now, this one, we are in the south. South middle on our own plains, 54.40, 78.40 around Oniri Springs. And we will be talking to Own Kanosun. We'll be giving him the elemental moat. Next one we're coming to is let's just not pull a bunch of stuff. Southwest on our own plains, 31.29, 68. Uh, we're going to speak to Dehar, the Unyielding, who's actually running around here. This is actually more on the Eternal Kurgans. Um, we will be going to the Kura uh, Terakai one next, but this one you got to give the Red Bark to. Now, this next one is actually considered to be in Terakai. It's a 41.60, 56.90. And this dude, I guess kind of hostile. I don't know, got an orange name. Uh, Jekon Khan. So there we go. go. The second to last spot, I believe it is. Yep, we are in the center of Owen Run playing 63.30, 57.30. Uh, this structure right here. We got a couple wolves here. Which one do we talk to? We have Tails and Rivon. So we're gonna talk to Tails, it looks like. This is where you give the braised buffalo uh, briskets. So the last one, we are back at Murakai. Um, probably don't really need to say the coordinates, but whatever, it's 60.0537.80. We're gonna fly above the to speak to Marik Doter. That's who you give the thrice spiced mammoth kebab stew. And you get your achievement to honor our ancestors, which gives you a toy. It's actually one of the hearthstone toys, which are, in my opinion, one of the cooler toys. It straight up replaces your hearthstone. The own ear wind sages hearthstone. And we're obviously going to take a look at what that image looks like. Then you use it. Looks cool. In fact, I think I'm going to use that instead of my, my Night Fae Hearthstone. Um, but anyways, guys, that's the entire video on how to get this achievement and that toy. It's a cool toy, in my opinion. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you all in the next video.